I want to show you how you can incorporate video cycles into your character animator compositions. In this example, I went outside on a perfectly clear day and I filmed a little bit of a tree against the blue background. I'm essentially using the sky as a blue screen the same way that you could film somebody in a studio against a green screen. I did this midday because there isn't as much gradation to the sky as there would be if I had filmed this in dawn or around sunset. And I'm just using a regular iPhone. A four second bit of video is all I need. The important thing is I had the camera stabilized and any sort of uh, phone stabilizer will run you maybe $10 or less. So there is no real reason not to shoot stabilized video on your phone. Once I have this video, I take it into After Effects and chances are, I'm pretty sure if you have Character Animator, then you're working with Adobe After Effects because Character Animator comes with After Effects. I drag the footage to the new composition icon and then I'm going to use an effect called keying where you are able to select a color in your footage and then drain it out. So this uh, is something that requires a little bit of finessing and maybe more so than I'm going to do in this example. But essentially I'm draining out the blue from the background. I'm going to mess around with the tolerance a little bit and use one of the other keying tools called Key Cleaner to help get rid of some of this uh, excess and once I've got that to a certain point, I'm going to use the masking pen tool to draw around the tree best I can. I know there's parts where the leaves sway and it gets outside of the mask, so I'm going to make the mask around the leaves a little bit larger. And then when I get to the trunk of the tree, I'm going to get pretty close and flush to it. When I've drawn my mask, I'll give it a little bit of feathering do some adjustments, and then after a certain point, I am left with a tree against nothing. This nothing is called the alpha, this checkerboard pattern you see here. So when I render a new iteration of this clip, I'm going to render it with RGB plus alpha, and that is in the render menu of After Effects. RGB plus alpha makes a pretty large file, even something that's four seconds in length. This was a 4K video. So this tree cycle ended up being 249 megabytes in size for four seconds of video, pretty large. If you don't need all those pixels, feel free to scale down your tree to what you need it to be. And I see in my render that there's a little bit of blue edge left in it. I'm okay with that for now. Uh, this is just a sample for this tutorial. If you want to refine your keying process a little better, After Effects has more tools available to you that you could key out that remaining blue edge. Now that I have my tree plus alpha, I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to use a tool under import called Video Frames to Layers. And this gives you a menu that allows you to choose how many frames you want if you want to render every single frame of this four second video to layers. Uh, let's see, this was shot at 24 frames a second. Four times 24 equals 96 frames. I don't think I need that for my background and I think that might be a little um, RAM intensive in Character Animator. So I'm going to limit it to every four frames. I think that's just enough animation to look pretty cool. As you can see, we have our looping tree video. All we need to do in this stage is make this something that Character Animator can understand as something that it can loop. So we are going to create a folder. We're going to call it plus tree. And then we're going to dump all of our frames into it. Save it as tree cycle. Then once we are in Character Animator, we can import it treat it like its own character, place it where it needs to go in our background, and then we're going to assign cycle layers to the folder that contains all of our tree layers. These cycle layers I'm going to set to start immediately, cycle continuously every two frames, and have it forward and reverse because it wasn't a super clean cycle 
uh, when I exported my frames in Photoshop, you could definitely see the tree trunk sway a little bit. So if it forwards and reverses, it essentially does what in Instagram is called boomerang. It goes forward, it goes back, it goes forward, it goes back, and as it loops, it looks totally seamless. So in this particular background, everything else is a drawing, and having a photographic object in the background is a bit of an anomaly. But you can imagine an entire background populated by photographic things would look pretty cool. Plus, another neat side effect is you can apply some of the physics attributes that Character Animator has to this looping video, like dangle. So it makes sense for a tree to have dangling things that are affected by the wind. You could assign breathe to make things grow and shrink. Uh, if you had, say, a bank of television sets, you could assign auto blink to them and they could turn on and off. Or perhaps strobe lights from a dance club, you could have them blink on and off by tagging them blink and assigning an auto blink to them. There's a lot of possibilities with photographic layers and all it really takes is a little bit of stabilized video, keying in After Effects, and utilizing this cool trick in Adobe Photoshop to pull apart your video into individual layers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.